Hello guys and uh, welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the ray trace shadows. Now ray trace shadows work differently from depth map shadows. With uh, the depth map shadows they uh, the shadows are calculated off the bitmap so they are not that accurate but they render faster. With the ray trace shadows the shadows are calculated by uh, bouncing rays of light through a scene so they are accurate but they take a bit longer to render. So one of the benefits of uh, ray trace shadows is that you can actually shadow transparent, uh, transparent objects like glass, um, windows, etc. Whatever, something transparent, you can actually shadow that. Okay? That's ray trace shadows. I love it. Now, um, to work with the ray trace shadows, you actually need to turn on the ray tracing in the, so in the, in the um, render settings. So um, I already showed you guys to go to the render settings. You just click on that. And right now we're using Maya Software Renderer. Okay. So go to Maya Software Renderer. Scroll down. Go to ray tracing. To ray tracing quality. And just turn on ray tracing. That's it. It will be turned on. Now in this um, tutorial. I'm going to. I am going to use um, Spotlight. Just like the previous tutorials. Then go into orthographic view. No, 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 don't do that to me. All right. Whew, I thought it was going to take forever. Anyway, um, yep, I'll go into the graphic view and just uh, move the light a little bit. Remember? Remember that I am actually... Remember that I'm actually um using the manipulator too. So, remember that. Uh, I will take you forward so you can shine the face. Okay, bring it forward a little bit. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, ray trace shadows hasn't been turned on right now. If we render it, you see it will have no shadow. Now, let's go ahead and close that. Make sure you select your light, okay, so that your light um, attributes come up. Then scroll down, scroll down to ray trace shadow attributes. What we're from using before is, um, let me go up, let me go up. My laptop is a bit slow, but still it does the work for tutorial purposes. I will get another laptop soon as I get some monies. Um, all right, guys, um, depth map shadows is just up there depth map shadows okay now we in ray trace shadows so let me scroll down now come on baby stop stop it don't do it don't all right guys i guess you guys will have to wait a little bit till this one yeah mm. Yeah, um, anyway, my laptop can be a little slow because my is needs more than this laptop can handle. So we have, we just have to wait for it. Scroll down a bit more. A bit more. Yeah, now. Make sure you turn on you turn on ray trace shadows, but that's it. You've got to shadow there. So if I actually zoom in a little bit and render this shadow, you notice that it's crisp. It's a crisp shadow. Look at that. That's a perfect shadow. All right. I love that shadow. It looks cool. It looks very cool. Now. The thing is, uh oh, let me just uh, go to the attributes, click on the light. Now, the trick is, with, um, uh, with ray trace shadows, the, uh, one, one thing about ray trace shadows is that it's harder to create soft shadows as compared to uh, depth map shadows. But Maya gives you options. Maya never forgets about you guys, it gives you options. 
it gives us options so the options are light radius and shadow rays okay you have to play with these two bad boys okay sometimes it can it can feel a little bit um, complicated but it's easy you just you catch it I do it four times you know exactly what I mean so I'm gonna start with the radius because this is a small scene so I'm thinking this is a little small scene as you can see the light is small so I'm thinking um, a good uh, a good point um, 0.25 by maybe um, 16 will do the job so 0.25 by 16 I'm trying to remember I'm trying to soften up the shadow I'm trying to soften the shadow see uh, nothing no good now let's try and turn it up let's try and turn it up and um, let's try and turn this one up to 2 2 and just render it see it's good it's got like softer edges but now remember these units that I'm using are in my units and depending on the scale of your scene you have to use either um, now let me rephrase this one depending on the scale scale of your scene as to how big you want the light radius to be if your scene is big you need a higher light radius so that's just how the rule is all right let's close this and uh, let's bring the shadow rays to something as ridiculous as one okay let's go ahead and render it see now after rendering it you can see it's grainy it's just way grainy it's this is not a real sh not a realistic shot it's way too grainy let me just render it see it's got grains around it that's not cool we don't want that so we're gonna close this one and um, bring it up, bring it up two by let's say something between eight and ten, whatever eight. Bring it back to bring it uh, the shadow rays to eight, okay? Then render it. So this modifies that effect, the grain effect modifies it and makes it a bit more, you know, puts in a bit a bit more into the grains to make it blend in a little bit. However, they had the light radius. The shadow, uh, the higher the right, <laughs> I can't even get it right. The higher the shadow radius, the more, the uh, the the higher the the higher the light radius, the more um, shadows you will need, the more rows of it. So if I bring this one here, the higher this la the 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 radius, the more shadow rays you guys are gonna need. Because you need to fit, fit it in all together, okay? But when I, when I was at school, I was taught that in 3D, in CG, 3D, whatever it is you're doing, if it looks good, it is good. And I abide by that rule and I believe it. So if it looks good, if you're happy with it, it means it's good. So um, let's go ahead and uh, play with, with it a few more times. Let's bring up the light um, radius. To, uh, the light radius to something as a 8 just like that one match it up 8 so remember they're all the same okay now the shadow now the shadow is soft yep fair enough thank you but it has stippling around it though these little dots around it you know and that's still not good so we're gonna bring the shadow rays a bit more higher because we want to fix it, we want to bring bring the shadow rays a bit higher. We're gonna double this. We're gonna double it to 16. Let's see how that works out for us, guys. 16. As you can see, it's actually taking longer and longer. The more the more shadow rays I add, the longer it takes. Okay? The more shadow rays I add, the longer it takes to render. So make sure. You just abide by my th rule of thumb. If it looks good, it is good. So, yep, that's our tutorial, and that's all you need to know about. Um, that's all you need to know about ray trace shadows. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I've got a donation button at the bottom. 
if you yeah I've got a donation bu uh, button at the bottom I'm working on buying a new laptop so I can put in more um, better tutorials without these things slowing down but if you don't if you can do it you can do it don't stress so that's our tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial